Good day, guys. Welcome back to another video. Uh, it's been a while, but we're back at it. Up here today, chasing some redfin perch and the snags. Hopefully, get a few. I've got the kayak on the roof of the 200. If I can find a decent spot to chuck her in, I will. Um, do some trolling, maybe some deep diving lures. I've got some new brawler baits I'm going to try out. Um, it's an absolute magical day today. I've been hanging out for this beautiful weather. We've had so much rain. All the tracks are flooded. The river's flowing fast. The dams are all too full to get to. So. Yeah, we'll see how we go, I'm keen as. Hopefully something under that snag out there. Now I'll try and get it to that right hand side snag a bit more. Oop, too far. not getting snaggy not close enough that's it so my plan for today guys is i'm only going to fish what i think is the best snags that i can find i'm just going to keep driving until i find the best spots that i reckon are going to produce the goods and i'm going to try a combination of different lures between the deep divers I might try some spinners out later if i'm really struggling um, and soft plastics with the weedless setup and i'm going to try not to get bitten by a tiger snake because it's uh coming into summer and this grass is long and i haven't fished up here before so hopefully there'll be one in here it looks like it's deeper on the other side bring it across with the snags here you'd think there'd be one in there if there was going to be one might have to change up lures shortly i've been loving the weedless jig heads lately just you don't get snags, so it's just so much more enjoyable not tying leader on every five minutes. But doesn't seem to appear to be anyone home. Right, guys, so that's what I was using so far. So a little uh, razor edge. Brawler bait, it's a bigger one, I think it's a 70mm in the purple colour. Pretty good, but not having any luck at the moment. So what I'm going to do is I will grab out Old Faithful, which for me is a watermelon Z-Man grub. Hopefully I've got some left. Uh, nope. Yeah, watermelon red flake. Oop, there we are, watermelon red flake. These are what I use for brim. I was catching brim flat out too. Bloody amazing little lure. Now I haven't rigged these weedless before. So I don't know how I'm going to go. Yeah, she's not pretty. Oh well, give it a whirl. All right, we are on. Literally second cast with the Z-Man. Goes to show, changing up lures works. Right, hey guys. So we got ourselves a little ready. First one for the day. Um, second cast with the change of lures, a little Z-Man grabbing the watermelon red. So pretty happy with that. Um, a little bit more vibrant. The tail has a little bit more action as well. That just wiggles around. These actually sit in the water like that and just wobble with this little bit of current we've got. The action is bloody beautiful, so pretty happy with that. First one down. Hopefully plenty more. Alrighty, fish number two. This one's a little bit bigger. 
Yeah, I caught him on a little mad eye grub. Look at that, beautiful fish, aren't they? Typical, didn't take the camera over there for one cast, and this guy got it. He nailed it right as I was lifting out of the water too, which is pretty specky. Slightly bigger than the last one, which I'm pretty happy with, so I'm gonna keep on, keep on keeping on, see what we can get. All right, guys, we're onto a bloody beautiful fish here. Whoa, oh, I really don't wanna lose him. Oh yes, look at the size of that bad boy. <laughs> oh, here's a horse. Jesus Christ. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, that's my biggest red fin by a mile. All right, guys, this is the ready that I just caught. She's a bloody beauty. I don't know whether it's male or female or what, but it's a bloody horse. I didn't even know I had it on until right at the shore. I thought I was snagged. Um, but when it, when it, once I got close to the shore, she was bloody fairly went. This is what I caught it on. I think it's a poltergeist, three meter deep diving. I just thought I'd whack it on for something different. Um, a lot of the time, the readies, they just want to hit something that's moving, that's bright. So rather than using the black soft plastics that I was, I thought I'd chuck that on and with that third cast. It doesn't swim the best. It gets tangled with the hooks a lot, but man, I'm so happy with that. That's my biggest ready by a mile. I normally only catch the little baby ones, so pretty bloody stoked. He'll be coming home for dinner tonight. Boys will be absolutely ecstatic when they see that. They're going to be so jealous there at school. It's their second day back from school holidays today, so they're going to be ropeable. <laughs> All right, good work. Man, how good was that ready? I'm so stoked with that. I uh, thought I'd take the chance to have a break now and I've got the jet boil going. Got one of those instant flash lattes. The missus got me onto because I'm a big softie these days. So, yeah, what a spot. So nice out here too. Try to remember where I was. That here, I think. Was it here? Yeah. All right, take two. That last fish was weird, hey? I felt a weight on the end. I thought I just had a stick or something. And then it wasn't until I saw it that it decided to take off and actually do something. It was bloody cool. They're not known for their amazing fighting abilities though, the old redfin, but... Bloody good fun anyway. I wish the kids were here so they could bloody catch a few themselves. They would have absolutely shit bricks seeing that. Oh, that was a good one. fishing for solid four or five hours. Uh, I'm gonna keep pick the kids up from school this Savo as well, so don't wanna be late for that or I'll be in the bad books for life. Um, I'll probably fill the fish up at home and I'll show you what I'll be doing with the fish frames. Uh, something a little bit different, but. Alrighty guys, so these are the fish we got today. Got the big bad boy there. And then a decent sized medium one. Probably on the smaller end, but for me that's pretty good. And a little fella. So I'm going to uh, scale these and fill them all now. And I'll show you what we're doing after. I'll probably have a look at the guts as well and see what they've been eating. The big boy, that'll be interesting to see what he's been having for lunch. So let's get into it. Alright, so I've just finished filling up them couple of redfin and I said that I'd show you what I was going to do to them um, with the frames. So what I'm going to do is I've got a whole heap of tomatoes growing in the greenhouse down here and last year I planted them in the garden um, with the heads and frames below them and the tomatoes absolutely cranked. So 
I'm gonna do that again this year. I've got a couple in the ground already, um, frames. I'm just gonna plant these ones in today. And then in another week or so, I'll probably plant the tomatoes on top. Veggie garden's cranking at the moment. Sugar snap peas, bok choy, onions and corn. Um, so the, the, these are the tomato beds that I've got left free. So they'll be going in there and hopefully we'll have a bumper crop of tomatoes this year. I've got four different varieties growing. We'll see how we go. Um, if you want to see more of our homesteading, leave a um, comment below and we can start adding more into our videos. Cheers guys, I hope you like this video. Uh, it's probably only going to be a short one, but at least we actually caught some fish this time. So yeah, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.